Um, oh man, I, I thought today was going to be the day I don't have a scuffed intro. Um, hello everyone, it's Arizona, your favorite American yokai. I think that is the best intro I've ever done so far. Um, and today we're going to be doing more Pokemon, which I'm uh really excited for because you see, I guess the entire internet has finally uh beaten the game because everywhere is filled with spoilers now. And I've seen a lot of spoilers. I've been trying to avoid them. I've been trying to, like, matrix it over here and just, like, dodge all the spoilers, you know? But, um, I've seen, like, a new form for a couple Pokemon. I saw a new Pokemon that is really ugly. And, um, I think it's a legendary Pokemon because it looks like legendary Pokemon from past games. So, um, I hope I don't have to catch that for story reasons. And, um... I also, um, I also got a spoiler about, um, I, I don't want to say a boss, but, um, I guess, like, one of the big Pokemon you have to fight, because my older sister came by, and I was like, oh, you said you wanted to play Pokemon Legends Arceus, have you gotten to play it yet? And she's like, oh yeah, I've gotten real far in the game, um, how far have you gotten? Because I know you don't want spoilers. I'm like, I'm about, like, you know, a few hours into it. And she's like, okay, I haven't played that long. I got to the part where you fight the giant golden god Pokemon with axe hands. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And she's like, oh, you know, the giant golden god Pokemon with axe hands with the pink lady. And I'm like, I have never seen a pink lady here in this game. And then she's like, oh no, am I further than you? Where, what part have you gotten to? I'm like, I fought the giant cricket that went dee lee lee whoop And she's like, there's a giant cricket that goes dee lee 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 whoop And I'm like, yeah. So uh, basically, she's further than me. I got spoiled. She doesn't know that Cricketune is a cricket. Which I think is stupid because cricket isn't its name. Anyways, Pokemon. Pokemon. I have uh, not started up the game since last time, and hopefully I'll be able to hear the audio this time. Um, let me make sure the audio is okay, because I don't want to see like a million people in the chat saying, oh, there's no voice acting, because I will, I will ban you. Not really, but I'll want to. I don't, I don't hear any audio. I don't know why my capture card's doing this, because... The first time I tested out uh, playing a game on Switch, I, like, I, I assume there's background music right now that I cannot hear. But the last time I played a- well, the first time I tested out a game on my Switch with my capture card, it was Smash Bros, and I could hear the audio just fine. And then the other night, because I got all my stuff, uh, hold on, one day I will find a better way to read chat. <laughs> but, um... I was testing out stuff to capture, like, Wii games and GameCube games, you know, like, older consoles like that and stuff. And, um, I could hear the audio. But this game just does not want to let me hear the audio. Okay, so I have not played this since last time I streamed it. Investigate. It's a jug. Um, I'm just gonna follow the little thingy that tells me what to do. And, uh, hopefully I'll remember. I need to name my Pokemon. I remember that. I remember I told everybody, oh, hey, give me Pokemon names. And then, like, all my friends give me Pokemon names. And then I just never named a Pokemon. Oh. Uh, I have to read this guy again, don't I? Did you get a good rest? Apparently, yes. I nodded. <laughs> Look who's being punctual. You finally... Who Who's this? Do I know this guy? I, I, like, my mind got wiped of everything. Do I have a voice for this guy? I say as if I'm doing actual different voices. Uh, finally realized you're wasting almighty Sinnoh's precious time of bowing to a sham. Okay, I don't think I know. Oh, that's the pink lady my sister is telling me about. We're gonna fight the golden god. Oh, wait, wait, the dude had the wormhole in the background of the cutscene. Oh, that's nice. They remembered I gave him a wormhole. She's a cute pink lady. Looks kinda kind of familiar with blonde hair, blue eyes, pink outfit. I wonder where I've seen that before. Um, there you go again, insisting on your false image of Almighty Sinnoh as ruler of time. My people saw the true Almighty Sinnoh, the font of all creation and ruler of space. Ha, you could have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. 
Excuse me, are you really suggesting that you make better use of your time than we make of vast Hisui space? I forgot this thing is called Hisui. Better than some. It's a miracle you showed up on time. Oh, mighty leader of the Pearl Clan. I worried you get lost in the pointlessly vast space you're so fond of and never show up. It's a jerk. I don't like it. Me get lost in almighty Sinnoh's great gift to the Pearl Clan and our world's very basis you wish. I wish that I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty Sinnoh, forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm off to Commander Kamado's office. Have I- do I know that person? I believe it was you who started this. Like, I, I stopped streaming this game, and my mind just got completely wiped of it, everything. <laughs> my memory's so bad, guys, I'm sorry. Just another- just another day with those two, I see. The man's named Adamant. Okay, so I don't know him. He's the leader of the Diamond Clan. They put a lot of importance on time, as you could probably tell. And the girl's Arita, leader of the Pearl Clan. Plan. They're all about space. You heard what she called it, right? Our world's very basis. Whenever they run into each other, those same arguments flare up. Seems like they've inherited some bad blood from the predecessor's strife. I'm surprised I could read that word of predecessor. Oh well, not a problem. I like him now. That's that's my reaction to everything. Not my problem. Goodbye. Adios. Sayonara. We all have problems if you don't get yourself to the commander's office, Arizona. Okay, so like, I'm gonna go to Commander's office, and I'm gonna run into them, and I'm gonna get dragged into them, and then I'm gonna have to fight the Golden God Pokemon with axe hands. I see how this is going. But first I wanna- where's my Pokemon at? Like, okay, okay, so I know- menu. Hold on. I lost my, uh, Pro Controller, so I have to play with Joy-Cons, and I don't remember where any of the buttons are on these things. I'm so used to the- Okay, this is just clearly the menu from Breath of the Wild. Okay, my Pokemon. How do I name them? Change name. There we go. Okay. So I am naming my starter Pokemon, my beloved Cyndaquil, after my beloved kitty cat. And I will take suggestions for the rest of the names. I want to, like, find out how I can change up my team and name all my Pokemon, you know? Um, let's see. Like, it's in a field somewhere. I know. It's somewhere. I'll find it eventually. If I just keep running around in circles and avoiding the main storyline. Also, I hope none of you guys can hear that uh, banging in the background. Sorry. I have no control over the noises in this house. Okay. Um, can I just like... There's no jump button. I was gonna be like, can I just parkour my way onto the fence? No. That's lame. Let me jump. Oh, hi. It's me there. Hi. Hisori is positively bursting with Bidoof and lots of other Pokemon besides. It's no exaggeration to say this land belongs to them, really. I just don't think humans are ready to settle here yet. Okay, um, why'd you pull me over for that? So, item storage. Okay, this is like ye old PC box. It's a literal box. Where did I get all these items from? I don't remember having that. Mm, honey, okay. I remember buying the charm, yes. Tumblestone, um, I need, like, eventually need to get, like, more Pokeballs, I think. Um, okay, my Pokemon over here? Hello, I would like to see my Pokemon. Bring them to me. Pastor's house, the mini Pokemon you, you catch. I. How am I able to read? Predecessor! But not, like, basic kindergarten words here. Collect them from here to change up your party. Okay. Do you have some Pokemon you'd like to leave here with me? Um, okay. Horsey. Consider. Horsey. Um, I, I do want Dealey Lilu Whoop in my party. I would like to have a Dealey Lilu Whoop. Um, I should probably keep a water Pokemon. What, what, okay, so he knows grass move. That's good. Flying move. That's also good. Um, I want to keep an electric type. Like, okay, I figure, you know, how Pokemon works is that, like, 
basically, if you have um, a grass, a water, and a fire, I think you're able to cover most of your bases, right? And this is a water, and this is a fire, so I just kind of need a grass, yeah? I mean, I might keep um, shanks around for, like, electric, because I think electric also um, is good. But I kind of want to diversify, you know? Like, I don't need... I mean, hmm... A ghost might be good, because he can't get hit by, like, normal and fighting. But he only knows a psychic move. Um, I mean, of course I can, like, level him up and learn new moves, but, ugh, that's a... You know what? We need some Bidoofs. What's my most powerful Bidoof? You gotta have a Doof. Okay. So, any name suggestions? I know I promised Paloma, my lovely friend Paloma, I would name a Pokemon after her, so we're naming a bird after her. Because if I know Spanish, and I don't, Paloma is Spanish for dove. Paloma, I suddenly forgot how to, how to spell your name if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I think... This is it. Something about being on stream just makes all my brain cells immediately leave me. Okay. I told Zephy we would name a Pokemon Potato. I don't know what... Like, Beedoof's kind of potato-ish. But also... Consider. Dilly Lily Whoop. Actually, no. We have to name him. The best name. The only name I'm going to call him by. Oh, wrong button. D. Lee. 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 How many O's can I get in this whoop? I suppose there has to be an H there somewhere, yeah? Whoop. Oh, no. Okay, we have to get rid of the H. Whoop. D. Lee. 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 Whoop. Yes. Okay. Um. I guess the Beedoof will be Potato. Because I want to keep Beedoof around. Just for Beedoof. He's a little beaver. I like him. I've always liked Beedoof. I know everybody, you know, <laughs> hates him. But, oh, wrong button. Yes. But, um, I like him. He's, like, just a little guy. He's just a little dude. He's my friend. Po-tay-to. If I can get the thing to move as fast as I want it to. There we go. Okay. Um, any suggestions for Shinx or Breezel chat? Anyone still here? Okay. Um, I will take suggestions at a later time then. And it bothers me back at being there, so I had to fix it. Okay. So we have a Boizel and a Shinx. We still need a name. Um, let me know whenever you're ready to give me name suggestions. Because I cannot be bothered. <gasps> you can see them over there! Oh my gosh! Look at all those birds! Guys, we need more birds. We need more birds. More birds, guys. Come on, let's go. Can I just, like, ignore the main quest? I keep forgetting about that ominous hole there. Can I? Let me jump into the water, you cowards. I don't need your bridge. Hi. What are you? Who are you? Talk to me. Alright, if Pokemon starts eyeing me, I'll find an orange berry, then run while it's distracted. If I just stick to the plan, I'll be fine. I like just throw a Pokemon at him. I think that'd be kind of funny. Oh, Survey Corps girl. I just headed out to the fuel lands to go gather tumble stones, but I haven't gotten as many orange berries as I like. Yes, I'm familiar with orange berries. I'm not stupid. This ain't my first rodeo. I've been playing Pokemon longer than you've been alive, my guy. Probably not. I don't know. How old is he? I'm bad at telling ages, especially when it's anime. I know. I know what an orange berry is. Okay, okay, I get it. I, like, I, I get it, right? You know, some people, this is their first Pokemon game, you know? 
like my older sister. This is her first Pokemon game. Kind of. I, I tried to get her to play Pokemon, uh, Let's Go Eevee, and she said it was really boring and linear. And that's why she'd rather play this game when it came out. Joke's on you, this game's also very boring and linear. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, but like, come on, man. Like, there should just be an option in this game to be like, I've played a Pokemon game before, don't give me a tutorial. Uh, this... Sorry, sorry. People keep spamming my chat. I'm not even big enough to, like, you know, gain you anything for your spam. So if you could just go away, thank you. You know, if you know, my mod named Steppen in my chat, who was spamming monkeys earlier, could kind of do his mod job. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. You're just kind of here for show, Steppen, and I appreciate that. Okay, um, obviously we're just gonna follow the little quest marker. Hi, am I supposed to be here? Am I supposed to click on this? There are some requests posted on the blackboard. Which one will you check? I mean, Beedoof. Seems a band of bothersome Beedoof keeps sneaking into the village and causing trouble. Talk to Samugi from the security corps and see if you can help set things in order. Can I? Can I get both of them? I want- yes, all- give me all of them. Seems several people spotted a drift them playing with one of the village children. That's never a good sign. Miki from the security corps can tell you more. Speak with her and get to the bottom of this. And now I have all these quests that I will never do. Okay. So obviously I wasn't supposed to go here. Where am I supposed to go? I know, okay, before anyone says anything, I know I was literally just complaining last stream about, like, oh, all these quest markers, I don't need all these quest markers, I know what I'm doing, and then I just, oh, I'm supposed to be up before, okay, and then I was like, oh, where am I supposed to go, what am I supposed to be doing, I know, guys, I know, I know, <laughs> I don't need you to call me out, I'll call myself out, am I supposed to be up another floor, or am I here, nope, okay, hi, do you know where I'm supposed to be? Speak to me. Oh, Splendid, you came along at a good time. I'm looking for a pickling stone, you see? You aren't mind lending me a hand. It used to be the right size to fit atop one of my pickle pots and heavy enough to put a nice, firm pressure on the pickles while they're fermenting. Hmm, but I suppose it would be hard for me to lift such a heavy thing from the pot. The best thing would be for, be for the stone to lift itself up, actually. <sighs> yeah, like... Let's just magic floating stone, why not? Okay. I can do that. Oh, you just want a Geodude. Okay. <laughs> oh, I have a rather good idea. There's a Pokemon called Geodude that lives on the deer lives on Deer Track Heights. It'd be perfect for the job. Could you catch one and bring it back for me? I'll head home and wait for you there. I don't know where you live. Do I do I know where she lives? I don't know anything, guys. I don't know who I am. Don't know why I'm here. All I know is that I must Pokemon. Clearly I'm supposed to be here because there's people. Okay. Uh, this dude. Oh, Cleaver. That's the giant axe hand. Golden God Pokemon. Super Saiyan God. Three, whatever. Pokemon. Yes. What do you intend to do about that Cleaver, Commander Komodo? He may be descended from a warrior of Almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You do get right to the point, Adaman. I don't remember any voices I had for any of these characters, I'm sorry. And I will never remember anything. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Cleaver is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan. Is he not? That's the point. My clan can't intervene directly when a lord of the Pearl Clan is concerned. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats. Just like we used to be. Even folk of the galaxy team has been, have been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone's got to do something here. Who then? Will the Diamond Clan have the Pro Clan bring down one of its own honored nobles? I don't believe I said that. Though it may... Though... Words. 
Let's learn how to read, guys. I clearly need it. <laughs> you might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Cleaver into such a violent frenzy. I'd like to know that myself. This is a first as far as my clan knows, too. I mean, maybe the giant, like, ominous skyhole. Like, if I saw that thing, I might just start attacking people. Why not? It's scary. It's, like, scary things cause violence. That's just how the world works. Hmm. I see you've arrived. Oh, oh, he's talking to me. I'm like, who's arrived? Who's here? It's me. Sorry, I was kind of focused. <laughs> On wondering if that hmm sounded like a Minecraft villager. Hmm. 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 This is Arizona. The newest member of Star Survey Corp. I promise I'm not usually like this, guys. Today's today's been a day. Aha! Uh -huh, I hear from my or in the Weird Ear's favor. I forgot its name was Weird Ear. How do you even pronounce that like? I assume I'm pronouncing it correctly. But I have not heard it pronounced at the anime to tell me if I'm doing it correctly. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the rift. Oh, of course they know I came from the skyfall. I can't just, like, be normal. Normal Arizona, you know? Like, oh, that's Arizona from the ominous skyfall. I want to be normal Arizona. I'm Adamant, leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal. I don't. But that's a mouthful. Just call me Adamant. I mean, I like to call you something else, but I can't say that word. If you came from beyond the space time rift, could you be from the space where Almighty Sino is set to her side? I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm from Sano, I suppose. If we're going on with my theory that I'm a champion Dawn from uh, the remakes of uh, whatchamacallit? Diamond Pearl, that's the words. That's the word, you know. I just. Sorry, I'm speaking to the legions of the Diamond and Pearl fan, and I forgot the words diamond and pearl because I'm very stupid today. I'm Irida, leader of the pearl clan. Caution and foresight of my watchwords. You're cute. You're cutie. I do like her. She looks cute. <laughs> Which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through that rift? No, I'm lying to everyone. Just for funsies. That's what I do. All the time. Every day. I have a proposition. B -b -b words. Did I pronounce that right? Pro proposition. I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleaver before deciding what must be done? You'd send this stranger who supposedly fell from the rift to study Cleaver, this newcomer with no experience. Okay, I have more experience than everybody else here, so first off, shut your mouth. Second off, I can make you shut your mouth by kissing it. I don't know how all these characters are. I probably shouldn't be saying these things. I know my character's like 15, so, you know. Says the leader with almost no experience. Don't be mean to a cute girl. That's not allowed. Being a good leader isn't a matter of time. It's a matter of embracing Kisui's vastness without fear. Well then, there you have it. If how new you are doesn't matter, let's give the kid her chance. I'm sold, Commander. Let's try this your way. I don't like him. I don't trust him. He's he's the fatty. Except I know he's not. I know I know there's a I think it's a completely unrelated fourth group here that is the baddie, because I've seen spoilers. Uh there's so many spoilers on the internet, guys. I just want like one game that get, like doesn't get spoiled for me at all. That'd be great to have one day. This should be fun. I'll get to see how good you galaxy folk really are with all your weird ways. Putting Pokemon in strange balls and what have you. That whole practice bothers me. Almighty Sinnoh made his vast so Pokemon could live freely throughout. We're meant to stay in alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We do not use Pokeballs from a desire to control our Pokemon, except, you know, we, we kind of do. Let's be honest. We, we do. We do that here. Only so that we can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. This is your mission now, Arizona. Hold on, I'm like very distracted. Look at you all see how pixely uh, his little, the three dots on his kimono. It might be four dots, I can't see, under the text box. But look at that, you can see like the individual pixels of that. Huh. Hmm. I order you to study Cleaver and help us find the truth of the situation. 
am I pixely? I mean, I guess the rope texture would be a little bit better. I assume that's like a rope. Sorry, I don't know why I'm being very nitpicky today. <laughs> Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the very sky above us. People are naturally... People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. There, there we go. I can talk, guys. I can, I can talk. I can read. Just not very well. <laughs> uh, if you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. Frenzy of the Lord of the Woods. Okay. So I'm gonna go fight the Golden God Pokemon. And then, you know, I'll be caught up with my older sister. Or where she was. Like, two weeks ago. <laughs> uh, I'm very behind in this game, I know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Well, that's settled. There's no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods, Cleaver, is descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's own power. Yeah, I kind of, like, figure that from what you were saying earlier, but, like, go on and just repeat yourself to me. No other Pokemon you've yet encountered can compare to his strength. Be warned. I mean, I, I found that horsey, the giant pony. The giant pony. It was very big and very powerful, and he, like, insta-killed me. Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition Team has come to the Hisui region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with Diamond and Pearl Clans, understand? Oh, why are you behind me? Join me downstairs, Arizona. We'll cover the details of this new mission. I forgot her voice, too. I forgot everything. Hooray! No memories. Head empty. I am filled with... I don't know. I was gonna say facts about Pokemon, but I suppose not if I don't remember anything about this game. I don't know. I was playing Sonic Heroes earlier. I'm filled with facts about Sonic. Like, did you know? Sonic the Hedgehog is blue. Hard to believe, I know. But it's true. Oh, good. You're already here. Professor Lavin. <laughs> Words. Okay. Jesus. Professor Laventon. The briefing, if you please. Yes, let's get right to it. So, Arizona. I understand you've been requested to find out the cause of Cleaver's frenzied state. As you're aware of by now, Cleaver is a mighty thing. Not invincible, even. The security court tried throwing a pokeballs at Cleaver. But they were... <laughs> okay. I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. Seems he's far trickier opponent than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they're wild. We will take this one word at a time, very slowly, and maybe, maybe one day I will learn how to read. I promise, guys. I promise. I promise. I'll learn one day. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Absolutely not. I gotta say yes, though. That's the rules. You can only say yes in Pokemon games. Very well, then let us go over the, the particulars. There we go, words! Words! Why are there so many words? The Diamond and Pearl claims revere their nobles because... Because they believe these Pokemon serve their almighty Sinnoh, in quotes. Because we don't believe any of that BS. Any of that baloney sandwich. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in locations they call the Nobles' Seats. So perhaps a good starting point for our research could be to find out what sort of offerings they normally leave for this cleaver. Maybe some cutting boards. Like, um... I don't know. I was gonna, like, make a, a reference to those old infomercials where they sell knives, but I know nothing about that. All I know is the flex seal. Wow, that's a lot of damage meme. But we could leave him cutting boards. Consider. He is a cleaver. You know, he probably doesn't want to, like, be cutting up the counter or nothing. Oh, okay. Uh, what voice did I have for her? She was like, Ara Ara Lady, right? Okay, okay, voice. Um, Arizona, we need to speak with you. No, 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 no. That was bad. That was bad. <laughs> no voice acting thing, guys. I'm, I'm bad at all voice acting. 
Listen, that rift in space-time seems like it connects this world to a whole other world. Like, yeah, the future. It's the future. That world might be where Almighty Sinnoh itself resides. The true Almighty Sinnoh, that is. The one that rules over time. Dialga. You're talking about Dialga. So if you fell through the space-time rift, that might mean you travel through time. Yes! Yes, I did. Thank you. By Almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it, you must have been just swimming in its divine might. Oh wait, okay, maybe Almighty Sinnoh's like Arceus, right? Maybe they think it's Dialga, and the other people think it's like, um, Palkia. But it's actually Arceus, because he's the main character of this game. His name is in the title, yes. Well, I've got a favor to ask you, oh amazing time traveler. Don't just study Cleaver, quell his frenzy. Well, you certainly caught us at a good time, young Adamant. We were just discussing our next steps with her with regard to this whole Cleaver situation. Oh ho, you must be the Galaxy Team Scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. His first name is Professor, his last name is Lavantum. Yes. Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Now let me elaborate a little. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleaver. You have his title, Lord of the Woods. But I'm sure they'd rather get this under control too. But it's hard for them to come right out and ask those of the galaxy team of all people for help. And the truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem in our on our hands. Yes. A Pokemon deer trust often, often the mouse, has flown into the same type of frenzy as Cleaver. Now, there's certainly bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but still. I'm sorry if you guys can hear the yelling in the background. Uh, you know, it's it's... It's NASCAR season, guys, so it's going to be very loud on the weekends from now on. I'm sorry. Um, okay. We've all got to share... Words. We've all got to share Hisui, and that means we ought to tackle our problems together. Yes. There aren't... Hold on, I gotta... Let me, let me attempt a mature voice, guys. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. There aren't... Okay. Am I... Am I here? Can you uh, see me? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? <laughs> oh, I don't have the chat anymore. Oh no. Um, hold on, hold on. I can fix things. Um, chat. Let me try to pull that back up here now. Okay. Um, I hope... Uh, hold on, hold on. Let me uh, pull up the stream on my other monitor so I can make sure it's all going. Am I here? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Am I alive? Okay, so, okay, I think I'm good. Hopefully you can hear me. Um. So, the, how dare the stream go out in the middle of the Milk Hobo story? How dare? Okay. We'll get back to that. Uh, Story things are happening in the game, though. I'm gonna, oh man, I'm gonna have to take down the VOD and I'm gonna have to like re edit it all back together. I'm gonna have to ask Stefan for help probably. Oh, oh, Pokemon. Okay. Um, sorry, that really threw me off there. Uh, okay. I certainly hope you're putting, you're putting that secret backstrike technique I taught you to good use. Absolutely not. Either way, I have some super potions here just for you. I have no money. <laughs> Oh, think nothing of it. Having the Survey Corps out and about studying Pokemon is great for business, you know. Supporting you now is actually an investment in my own fortunes. Thank you. Okay. So, where were we, chat? If anyone's still here. Where were we with the Milk Hobo story? Um, okay, so... Yada 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 recap. Um, I work in retail. And we get a lot of hobos around, you know, just simply because we're a cheap uh, dollar store, right? Can we just go here? Um, so I'm stalking the makeup aisle, and I hear the door ring, and I peek my head out. And there's a guy. He's wearing two jackets. He has a backpack on his back. He's carrying a backpack in his hands. And um, he has a cigarette that was lit at one point in time in his mouth. He's crouched down, rocking slowly, with a flashlight. Walks into a pharmacy. Okay, whatever, you know? I don't know what's going on. Like, he's just looking for something on the floor, I guess. 
I go up to the register, I check some customers out. He comes up, he has a bottle of Tylenol, that's it, you know? He pays entirely in quarters, guys. Right? You know, whatever, I'm not gonna complain. Money is money, I'll take it. And, um... You know, he then walks over by the door. And he starts fiddling around with his backpack. Takes the backpack off his back. Well, okay, okay. He, he First he, he opens up the little bottle of pills he bought, you know? And he takes a few. And he takes the backpack off his back, guys. Okay? And he just straight up pulls a whole gallon milk jug. Oh! Oh, Jesus. He pulls a whole gallon milk jug out of this backpack, guys. And he just chugs from the jug to, uh, wash down the Tylenol he took. And he leaves. And that's the story of probably the weirdest person to come into the store in the past couple of days. I mean, there's, there's been a couple other, like the wallet dude that I tweeted about. But he's not weird, he's just, he, I like that, I like the dude who has a wallet for his wallet. Oh man, that's amazing. <gasps> Stantler! Stantler! Hi, be my friend. Be my friend. I don't know how to throw out my Pokemon anymore. That's, okay, okay. Found it out, guys. I found it out. Um. Hold on, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm making sure I'm still up. Am I still alive? Are we still going? Cause it'd be very bad if I wasn't, you know? Um. Okay, I think I'm still good. We're good. Everything's fine, and I don't know how to fix this. If it happens again. Okay. Hey, dear friend. Hello, dear friend. You're going to be dear friends from now on. I I don't know why I thought it just automatically locked on like a Sonic the Hedgehog or something. <laughs> it's because I was playing Sonic earlier. I don't Maybe I just should play Sonic. Oh, did he run away? Where did he go? I just want to play Sonic. They're gone. Just like everybody else in my life. Oh, that's a big tree! I'm going towards the tree. I think that's where I'm supposed to go anyway. So we're going to the tree. I'm gonna, um, fight the giant golden... Oh, I, I thought that was a Pokemon. It's just like a cauliflower. I was really excited. I'm like, oh, what's that Pokemon? I do need a good grass... Oh, am I dead? Did I die? Okay, good. I forget that fall damage is a thing that you probably shouldn't be taking. I still need a good grass type for my team. Um, I'm very nervous how uh, the little red light in the corner of my OBS is uh, flashing right now. I was doing that before. Do you see? Do you see that bird flying at its like three frames per second flapping in? A... You, you all, can I zoom in? Let me zoom. Oh. Y'all see that? You see that? What? Come on. Okay, I understand it's probably like trying to save on resources because I'm so far away from it, but also, dude, if I can see it, I'm close enough for you to have it be the full animation. Can I like actually lock, lock a zoom and see if I can get closer? I would like to <laughs> see that animation. Get better, please. We still we still chugging along here at three frames per second. Did he go? Is he gone? Okay, he's there. Okay, it's better now. Because I'm so far away, but still. Oh. Goodbye. I'm gone. I'm dead. I'm okay, so, oh I can no I can't swim. Oh no. <laughs> that was kind of funny though. I was hoping maybe it wouldn't end up like that. Don't know what I was thinking. Okay, so we need to get to this big tree. Don't know how. Um, that tree is shaking. There's something there. Hello. Oh, oh yeah, just a chat tree. It's a crystal Pokemon. I need one of those. Okay, we gotta not kill it. So we're gonna use a super effective move. Oh no. <laughs> 
Oh no! Okay, there'll be other grass types. I do need the levels, I can't complain. I do need the levels, especially since I haven't bought anything so far yet. But I see some dee dee lily whoops. Dee 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 lily whoop. Dee 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 whoop. You gonna fight me? You gonna fight me? Oh, you're a peaceful dee 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 whoop. I like that. What's this? Sword camp. Amazing. Okay, where are we supposed to- Okay, I need to get to that big tree, I assume. I keep thinking that's a Pokemon, it's an artichoke! Can we have an artichoke Pokemon? <gasps> Bee Barrel! Hi. Hi. Be my friend? Be my friend. I want to be Bee Barrel. Oh no, I'm really bad. Oh, that is- That's a bad. Okay, um, Bee Barrel is water ground, yes? So I don't think Electric is gonna help me, but also he is my highest level. Okay, okay, I thought I thought the blue bars were their health. I'm like, oh no, did I not heal? Um, he's my highest level, so I am going to see if it's, uh, um, if Electric will do anything. It might not. Okay, it does. Okay, that's good. I was like, oh no, is he ground? Can I like not hit him? Okay, um, item. Pokeball. I'm catching it. It's my friend. Oh yay! We're friends. Friends. Be there. Yeah, I need to heal my guy, my little dude. My Cyndaquil, that's the word. That's the word I was looking for. So how do I uh, get to, to the camp to heal up? Because it's somewhere. Well, okay, maybe if I head to like the main quest, be like, oh, your Pokemon have uh, taken some damage, haven't you? Because you're a bad trainer, let me heal you and then throw you at this thing with knife hands. Cause you know, that's how Pokemon goes. Be doof. Be doof. Another bee barrel. Hi. Oh wait, what's this? I am drunk. He's a, he's a big boy. Oh, he's an angry boy. I right, goodbye. I look. I I almost died to a level fifteen. One of y'all. I'm not fighting a level forty. I, I learned my lesson from the pony. Okay. I am just going towards the quest marker. What's that? Oh, it's a cast cool. Silcoon? Silcoon, yes. Hello. Can I... Oh, I need to choose a different Pokemon. No, no, let's go potato! Let's go potato! Let's go potato! Okay, um, what moves does he have? We're gonna bite it. Oh, that does some damage. Okay, okay. Um, it's defenseless race, so we can probably bite it again without knocking it out, because I think that last one could have Um, we're gonna catch it! We're gonna have lots of Pokemon friends! Okay, okay. Come on, let's catch it. Let's catch it, let's go. Pokemon. Okay, so. Um, what other new Pokemon? That's a Wormflower. I caught one of you. So, I, I mean, maybe I'll need another one in the future, but not now. I just kind of want to see what's new. My own Bark Tongue Flower thing. Okay. Is that a Pokemon? I need to go back and catch those snailers. There's something here. So, I'm going to use the. <gasps> Sorry, Johnny! Okay, okay, let me. Oh, hi, Wurmple. You want to be my friend? You want to be friends? Okay. Can I please aim at the tree correctly? Thank you. It's a wee! <laughs> oh, yes, I love it. Oh. Oh, it hit me. Okay. 
We are going to, um... Oh no, no, no. I am strong. Okay, this is like a level 16, and it's going to absolutely wreck my potato. I'm gonna be mashed potatoes. Okay, potato's dead. However, I think we can catch this thing. Feely the loop. I'm counting on you. <laughs> I just, I like that, guys. I wish I could hear it, because it sounds not wanting to work for me, for some weird reason. But one day, one day I'll just hear it through the loop. I wonder if I can just, like, find a straight-up video on you. <gasps> Is that a Paniri? Okay, I wonder if I can just find a straight-up video on YouTube. I was just like, the dee 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 whoop sound effect, like, for an hour. Hi, hi, be my friend. Okay, okay, we gotta be sneaky. I don't like me. We gotta be sneaky. Okay, we can't use potato anymore. But we still got our main man, dee 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 whoop. That's the wrong button. Oh. Oh, it's close enough anyway. Okay, that's good. Okay. Ugh. Coward! Coward. At least I've still got a side up. Oh! Did I hit it? Oh, I hit it. Oh no, it was Baneary! Okay. What a Baneary. Am I supposed to catch these things? Where's the side up? Did he run away too? Dang it. Okay, I'm probably doing something way wrong. Let's just, you know, fight a duck with a bug. That's gonna end well for me. Go. I wanna fight you. I wanna catch you. I want you to be my friend. Um. Ah, oh, grass one, yes. style does less damage normal. So we're gonna do that. Just so I don't accidentally kill him. And then we're gonna throw a Pokeball. <laughs> oh, that's, gonna, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Okay. Fight up. Fight up. I assume if I follow this trail, it will eventually lead me to a place I need to go. Yeah, because that looks like the giant tree. <laughs> it's just very close by now. Can I get some healing? Can I, like, find a dude who will be like, Oh, looks like you're a big dum-dum and your Pokemon got hurt because you're bad at Pokemon. Here, let me help you, you loser. Oh. He's a cowboy. Yeah. Pan cowboy, yeehaw. Okay. I love my voice. Like, he's he's a little guy. He's just like a little dude. I can't do a baby voice though. Um I guess I'll I'll let the voice come naturally, you know? We'll just we'll try something out, see what feels right. Okay. I'm Leon of the Pro Clan, the warden to Cleaver, Lord of the Word Woods, yeehaw. <laughs> And you, I've already deduced that you've come here to meet Cleaver. I'm right, aren't I? Of course I am. I can see it so clearly. After all, the powerfully awesome Cleaver has become even more power awesomely powerful. Perhaps that strange lightning the other day was Almighty Sinnoh's divine power. But whatever it was, it struck my lord and left him imbued with awesome might. So I must turn you away, even if it pains me. It's too dangerous for you to meet Cleaver right now. I mean, okay, goodbye. Adios. Sayonara. Can't let me in, then I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what am I supposed to do, my dude? You're like, no, you can't you can't do it. He's too powerful. He's too strong. He'll rip you to shreds. Okay, bye. Bye. I'm not playing these games, man. I'm not. Truly, you mean to simply give up? Is your passion for cleaver so paltry? Yes. What does that word even mean? You are like twelve, dude. Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm like fifteen. He's like smaller than me, isn't he? Like at least a head smaller. You're like ten. Go away. 
But, well, I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue here. I've been told in no uncertain terms by Irida that I am not to let anyone near Cleaver. And I will fight you off myself if you insist. If you wish to avoid battle, withdraw now, while you still can <gasps> Gumi! Gumi, guys! I love Gumi! I'm d I want to see that Gumi. Show it to me. Show me your Gumi. Show him to me. I don't care what you're saying. I want to see him. I want to see my little boy. I want- Oh, my little boy! Oh, I love Gumi! Oh, my little boy! He's just a little guy. Okay. I suppose I have to fight your huh? He's a dragon, so none of these are really going to do anything. Which one of you has, like, the high power? Which one of you- Okay. I don't want to fall to this fight. But I will strong style you with this because I have 40 power and big numbers are better. Yes. I know how math works. Oh, he's a little guy. He's just a little guy. Oh. Oh, he has two. Oh no. Okay, I cannot control my Pokemon by running away, huh? No, stop! You're not even giving me a chance. How am I supposed to fight? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, I don't like your little guy. He's a big meanie. I'm going to electrocute him. How about that? Yeah. Okay. Oh, she sure, like to go and that. Oh, wow. I'll get stabbed. Oh, that's not. Do You're paralyzed. That's. Um, I can. I can. Uh... Oh, maybe he did like three moves because he was doing agile while I was doing strong. And like strong, I think lets your opponent do more than one move at you sometimes. And Hodge all lets you do more than one move sometimes. And you know what? We're just gonna bite you to death because you're probably spooky. Probably very satisfying to bite into like a gummy worm. Like a little gummy worm. Oh, gummy worms. <laughs> I promise I'll try to stop with the baby talk. I'm sorry. But he's just a little guy. He's just a little guy. Yeah, your little guy got wrecked. Get good. I'm not allowed to say it. I'm just gonna say a bad word. Uh, man. I don't care about your cleaver. Okay, normally I, I simply try making him an offering. A nice heaped helping of his two favorite foods, served up with respect by his loyal warden. Shut up. That's me, of course. Is usually enough to please him and soothe the prickliest of moods. But even I, Cleaver's lord, loyal warden, yes, I can read, can't get close enough to give any offering now. Not with the way Cleaver is rampaging and running amok. There's nothing that an outsider like you can do. The ancestors of Cleaver, weirdier, and the and their cohort, co cohort, yes. Drew on Almighty Sinnoh's po own power to protect Pokemon and people alike. So it said. So it said. Pause, because there was a period at the end of that. It's by their grace that our clan, that any of us, still lives in our in vast history today. Yes. Okay. <laughs> One day I'll learn how to read, guys. I promise. I promise. Irida, what are you doing here? Yeehaw. Okay. I, I need to stop making stupid cowboy jokes that only I laugh at. I'm not even sure if you can hear my stupid little giggling through this microphone filter I have on. It's a cute little giggle, though. No, it's not. My voice is terrible. Why you all? Why does anyone watch me? As you say, Cleaver's grown even stronger, but I'm afraid that strength poses a problem for us. If he was indeed struck by that lightning, could the bolts have been sent by the false Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan bows to? I think you're looking too much into this. Okay, okay. Story theory time. So, I think Arceus is the almighty Sinnoh, right? And they all think, you know, one group thinks it's Dialga that's actually the almighty Sinnoh. Another group thinks it's Palkia. Well, you know what other Sinnoh legendary when you throw into this mix? Giratina. Yeah, okay, so. Clearly, Giratina is struck striking Pokemon with lightning. Because he's like, ooh, big bad evil Pokemon guy. And also, we're, like, in the past. Whereas, in the future, you know, we're, like, is a master. And we've, you know, caught him and stuff. So he based us in the future. But this is a past Giratina, who bows down to no one. And we gotta go, like, beat him into submission once again and win. Yes. 
that's how the story goes. I did it. I solved Pokemon. You're welcome, Game Theory. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm gonna be completely wrong. I know, I know I am. Um, Weaver means so much to our clan. I'd hope we could bring that, this situation under control ourselves. Not throw up our hands and ask some outsider for help. Excuse you. I'm the cutest outsider you'll ever meet. But we must save Cleaver from this frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. If more people in Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to conflict with both the Diamond Clan and the Galaxy team. Your eyes are rectangles, my dude. Now they're squares. You, stranger from beyond the sky, yeehaw. <laughs> I know I said I'd stop doing that. I'm not going to stop doing that. Tell me, could you Galaxy people actually fix all this yeehaw? Could an outsider like you find a way to quell that to quell our lord's frenzy? I mean, probably. I don't know. I'll figure something out. I usually do. Usually you just gotta, like, throw a cricket at it. And he goes, doo -doo 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 whoop. And you're like, ah, oh, yeah, I love him. Very well. Lee and I will gather food that please Cleaver in hopes that we might be able to get close enough to make him a proper offering. As for you, find a way to quell his frenzy, even if you must search every corner of Vast Hisui. Or I could just, like, beat him up. Can I have, like, Pokemon heal, please? Oh, my phone. Mysterious power that now enables you to return to base camp in, in an instant. Yeah, like, let me just click the instant teleportation app on my phone. This game's kind of dumb in some ways, but it's Pokemon, so you gotta love it. Okay, can I please get healed? Do what? Or are they just gonna take me back to base camp? How do I, um, phone... Yes, okay, um, I would like to go home now, please. It's camp. Take me home, country roads, to the place I belong. Yeehaw. Can you please heal me? Do I talk to you to get healed? Um, okay, so basically, Cleaver is bad and we gotta beat him up. That's, that's how the research is going, yes. Um, oh, oh, is it over already? Oh, I would like, um, to heal my Pokemon, please. Shinx. Um, why are you Shinx up, dude? Bee Barrel, yeah. I love Bee Barrel with Bee Doof and all those stupid little guys. I got a Combi. And we got a side up? Huh. We don't know what preferred foods Beebra has. Is there only like five foods you can feed your Pokemon? When do I get to feed my Pokemon? I would like to feed my Pokemon. Okay. We're not the next rank yet. Maybe we would be faster if we didn't have to keep coming back here for stupid story stuff. Ugh. So according to the information you were able to learn from Irida and Leon of the Pearl Plan, were this the normal course of events that a frenzy cleaver would be calmed by a nice serving of his two favorite foods. I do wonder, is it possible that the aromas or some other components of these foods might combine in a way that would not only calm cleaver, but draw him back from his frenzy? But by your own report, even Cleaver's warden, who looks after Cleaver and knows him well, cannot approach him in his current state. It would be a fool's gambit to get close enough to offer him food. I mean, I'm a fool. Let's go. I don't know what gambit means. Can you teach me? You're smart. Please? No? Okay. Hmm, give me a moment if you would. I need some time to ponder on this. There ought to be something in my research notes that can help us. Pikachu! Oh, I was gonna like try to zoom in on the Pikachu picture because it was kind of cute. It moved on before I can even like hit my button. To zoom in on things. How truly really tragic. Eureka. I'm not gonna yell that. I don't wanna yell. We'll simply have to throw the food. Uh. <laughs> that. Uh. Okay. You you spent like how long thinking of this plan? That is the solution. Let's if we cannot get close enough to feed it food. Let's just pelt him with it. Why not? <sighs> You've quite the arm for throwing things, haven't you, Arizona? I suggest you take Cleaver's favorite foods and throw them at the Pokemon. 
I'm just, I'm just gonna have to go with this, huh? <laughs> this is truly well. Oh, she's picture. Look at the she's in the background, guys. Look, adorable. I got a little cricket dot, little baby D Lulu. And um, cher cherum Cheruby to to the cherry cherry Pokemon, yes. Okay. Yes, it's all coming together. We can use our skill in Pokeball crafting to shape Cleaver's beloved foods into balls, then throw them to achieve the same calming effect, but from afar. I just like how this is, you know, his master plan he spent like maybe an hour thinking of. He's like, what if food throw ball shape? Yes. Very smart, Professor. Let me round of applause, round of applause if I can speak the words correctly. Good job. Good job. Good plan. That was stupid, I'm sorry. Tea time balls. Tea time balls. Tea time balls. Hold on. Tea time balls. Okay. Uh, why do we let this man do anything? Why do we let him do anything? Like, Lavington Balls, that's stupider. You're just trying to stroke his ego. You're like, oh, well, you're the genius who came up with it. Let's name it after you, because you're so smart. Like, no, you're both stupid. Maybe I do want to launch you with that frenzied feed. In any case, we can rely on the Pearl Clan gather the necessary foodstuffs, correct? I respect literally none of you. Then you should hurry back to the great to the Grand Tree area and tell the Pearl Clan about a brilliant plan. After Grand Tree Arena, best set out from the camp Heights Camp, eh? Can I heal my Pokemon, please? Are they healed? Can I see them? How do okay. Can I I want I want D D D. Let me let me throw him. Give me my friend. Give me my friend. How tragic. <sighs> so we're just gonna do the brilliant plan to throw him through to Pokemon. I don't know, maybe we could aim it right. Like, does Cleaver have a mouth? Because if so, I have a solution. We just throw it really hard directly into his mouth, hope it like falls down his throat, and hope that he chokes on it. Uh, what does she want? Can I- are you gonna- oh, I don't know if my Pokemon heal. Can you heal them? My, my, ara ara. That galaxy hit that galaxy hall is one fine building, even from the outside. The galaxy teams certainly got themselves a grand headquarters, I'll give them that. Oh, yes, I came because I had some news that I thought you might be interested in. Better you actually see what's going on, though. Let's head to, what did you end up calling it? The Heights Camp? I mean, I was gonna go there anyway. Did I need this? Did I need this, like, unnecessary dialogue here? I don't know what that's supposed to sound like. I can't hear it, but, um, deer noises, yes. Perfect. Was he a deer or is he a moose? I don't know. Well, I guess he's a deer. It's in his name, isn't it? I'm being very stupid today, huh? But then again, consider. Have you ever seen a deer that looks like that? Because I sure haven't. I spoke to Weirdeer. Didn't know you knew how to speak to Pokemon. But, I spoke to Weirdeer about what's been going on. I told him how you've been trekking all over the field and seeking a way to quell the Cleaver's frenzy. All this from someone who's not even part of our clan or the Pearl Clan. Just some wanderer who fell through the rift into this world. Shut up. And hearing that, well, you can see how he responded. I trust you appreciate it. Weirders found you're worthy, you see, which means you'll need a flute like we have. You get a flute? Poke a flute? Does it make Snorlax move? 
This is very important. So listen, I can't hear anything. Oh no. I'm sure it sounds lovely. Oh yes, beautiful. You're such a wonderful musician. I really wish I could hear that. That's a celest celest celestica. Celest cel celestica? Celestica. That's um it's a flute that Mai just played. It's a precious tool that we that can be used to call on a weird ear, so you can write upon him. It said that's a that Celestica flutes. Were a gift from Almighty Sinnoh itself, and now this one's yours. Thank you. I'm like gonna use it once and then forget completely about it. It's not that grand a gesture really. I can't play the flute for the life of me. See if you can play that melody. I don't want melody. I can't hear. I can't hear any sounds in this game. Oh no. Um, since I'm going to have to edit like the two VODs together anyway, Editor Arizona, can you like uh, replace the flute music with, um, oh, what would be a good, uh, what would be a good thing to replace it with? Um, Editor Arizona. I'll place it with, like, the opening of Careless Whisper. I want to hear the saxophone noises come out of the flute, please. Thank you. Weirdo opened, its heart, opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. Thank you for opening your heart to me, dear. dear. I appreciate it. You received the mind plate from your dear. It is a rock. Thank you. Now use that Celestica flute wisely and gallop across the land with the great weird ear. You've got a frenzied Pokemon to put out at Grand Tree Arena, haven't you? With a weird ear, you can gallop across the fields in no time. Yes, thank you. Okay. Okay, okay I, you just told me five times that I can... Hold on, hold on. You've told me five times that I can use the deer to go across... The region, and yet, like, you keep, why are you, why are you telling me this five different times? I get it, I get it, okay. Editor Arizona, uh, make sure that doesn't deafen anyone. I say as if I'll actually uh, do anything, other than just cram the two of Oz together. Okay, how do I, oh, plus buttons. Oh, dear. Does the deer take fall damage? Guess we're gonna find out. Can I fight things with deer? Is that that's just deer? Deer, dude. Okay, does deer take fall damage? Guys, I think I'm invincible. Guys, oh, I think I'm invincible. I don't know where I'm going. Where am I going? Uh, did I go backwards? Oh, that's a angry bird. We're just gonna, you know, ignore that. We don't need an angry bird tonight. Oh, so bad. Why don't you fight it? Do you need me whoop? Oh, I can't call my Pokemon while I'm doing it. I'm not getting off this deer. So, we're just gonna have to catch a zoo bat later on. Oh well. Where am I going? Drown the deer. Oh no, he just. He beat the oh, no. <laughs> Okay. Okay, Nintendo won't let me drown the deer, ya jerks. Oh well. We'll do it next time. Where am I going? Where is the quest marker? There it is, okay. Can I climb up this rock wall? Yeah, I can. We're just gonna keep going, right? We're just gonna keep going. I did go in the opposite direction, didn't I? Am I back where I started? Oh no.
you know what? Everything's fine though. We're gonna, we're gonna get there faster because we got the deer with no fall damage. So I can just jump around really. What is that? Oh! That's a big boy! Oh, he's angry! Okay, goodbye! Oh! You killed my deer! Oh no! I am dead! I'm dead! I'm dead! Oh no! Deer, deer, save me! Deer, save me! Thank you! Can I not get stuck on a wall, please? I would just like to, you know, not die from the giant mushroom thing that's chasing me. I have enough giant mushrooms after me. I would not like another one. Okay, how do I... Okay, I think I go... I think I've had this problem before, where I was like, how do I get there? In the exact same spot, too. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is where we found the bee barrel. I remember this place. Okay. Bee barrel. And there's an angry bee barrel over there. Which we are just going to, you know, goodbye. I'm just gonna ignore that. I don't look guys, I've learned my lesson with a horse. Let's not fight these things that are angry. They're angry for probably good reasons. And I am just going to, you know, leave that all alone. Because I am a smart cookie. Okay, how come I can't just have deer, like, straight up attack those and, um, get them for me? Kind of dumb, but what do I know? Okay, hi, we're back. I've got a deer. I didn't think they just let me walk past him. Huh. Oh, I don't know. Huh? I feel like there's hidden secrets in the design of the moon there. No? I mean, kind of looks like that circle thing on there is kind of weird. What if? Guys, guys. That's no moon. It's secretly, uh, the Egg Destroyer from Sonic Adventure 2. We cracked it. This is like the big secret Pokemon Sonic crossover. We did it. You've solved Pokemon. So you say you galaxy people came up with a method to try to quell Lord Cleaver's frenzy? I mean, ugh. they came up with something, my guy. Don't know how well it'll work, don't know how smart an idea it is, but I'm stupid enough to just do whatever they say, so. What? You'll mash up Cleaver's favorite foods into balls that you can throw offerings at him. That's quite an unorthodox approach. It sure is. You galaxy people, your inventiveness just blows me away. I mean, now you can make offerings to Lord Cleaver from a safe distance. All these people are stupid. I'll lend you my aid if it means we might provide Cleaver with his offerings. Let's begin at once. Hold on, Leon. Don't get afraid. Don't get ahead of yourself. I can read, I promise. Whatever the plan is, you'll need Cleaver's favorite plump beans. I've brought them as promised. That's right, my apologies, Arita. I'd forgotten all about you. I mean, I forget about all of you when I'm not playing this game. I admit, as we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we seem to have little choice but to turn to the Galaxy team. But even I, sh I still have my doubts about whether we should tr entrust such things to an outsider. These Galaxy team people don't share our customs or values. So prove to me you're worthy to stand in the presence of our noble Pokemon. You may battle by ordering about the Pokemon you've caught in your little Pokeballs. But on my side, I have a Pokemon as close to me as a sister, one of them, as one of my blood. If you can defeat Glaceon with me, I will entrust you with Cleaver's fate. Will you battle us? I mean, I just, I'll throw a fire Pokemon that, like, defeats ice, yeah? I want to see Gumi again. I want to see the little boy. He's a little guy. Little boy, Gumi. 
Oh, I did not mean to start with Pekka, but you know what? We're st we're gonna go in on it. Why not? <laughs> oh, it's stronger than me. Oh, not a good start. Um. Oh, what is it is getting closer. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, 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 that's not a good hit. That's not good for a critical hit. Oh. How long can we delay the number of bullets? I wish you could have swung fast and fast and my, like, my last move possible. I'm not surviving this now. <laughs> okay, fire type. Fire or melt ice? Yes, good. I can do this. We got a little cinder pearl who's named after my kitty kitty. There's no way Ruby can fail us. Look, we're doing so much better. Pretty good. Knocked down one hit on me. <laughs> okay. Um. Roll out. Let's go potato. Biggest potato. I'm very much counting on you. <sighs> We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. <sighs> potato, you failed me. Um, let's go, Paloma. Okay, okay, okay. We just need you a little bit. So if we can get out a strong style attack of Gust. We should be good. We don't have to do good just to see that last bit of damage left. Here we go. Thumbs for good at Pokemon. It just takes half our team to defeat one. Oh, we can evolve our Shinx? I don't want to evolve our Shinx. How do we evolve our Shinx? Do you need like a thunderstorm? Um. I see now. Pokeballs are simply your tools of choice, not products of disregard for Pokemon. You still understand the Pokemon that you've caught and treat them as part of- Yeah, that's why I killed half of them. I feel better putting my trust in you now, I think. Let me see your Pokemon's wounds. Now explain the Galaxy Team's plan. I'd rather not. What do you mean to do with these foods? I mean, ugh. So because you have to keep your distance, you'll mash Cleaver's favorite foods together, ball them up, and try to quell his frenzy by throwing them at him. Yes. That seems to be everyone's plans. Interesting. So you've developed soothing bombs of sorts to calm our lord. I don't know if they'd be bombs. Very well. If it'll help soothe Cleaver's frenzy, let's make these bombs with our very hearts and souls. I still think this is a stupid plan, but I know Pokemon logic, so it's gonna work, unfortunately. There, a veritable mountain of bombs. This should please Cleaver if anything can. Now then, ready yourself, and I will summon our mighty Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. I'm ready. As am I. Okay, just let me fight. Golden God Pokemon Axe hands. Oh, mighty Lord Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. Though it isn't yet the time of ceremony, we prepare an offering of your favorite things. Benevolent Lord, who works his might between the heavens and earth, we offer our gratitude and beseech you, reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen, Arizona, keep your focus on Cleaver. Dodging will be vital. Oh, no. <laughs> Try to avoid his moves as you're throwing the ball. I mean, I make no promises. I don't know what that sounds like. I can't hear anything. All I know is deity needy whoop. Okay, okay. Oh! That's a... Huh! Guys. I went Super Saiyan. Oh! <laughs> Oh, it does have a mouth. Okay. We'll just make him choke on it. Yes. Solved it. You're welcome. My idea is better than yours. Okay, um. Hold on, I actually want to read this for once. Um. <laughs> so guess what? Damn. 
No! <laughs> okay, okay! I'm dead. How do I... Oh, wrong button. Okay. How do I... Um... There we go, okay. Am I supposed to battle? Or... Oh, I guess, okay, he's knocked out, so dealy really whoop. I believe in you. Not really. You're going to die here! We're going to die here! I don't even know what type this is! We are going to die here. Well, I'm gonna offer all the sacrifices one by one. And you're dead. A sacrifice, please. If I can get one water move on, that might be, uh, not gonna be enough to do anything. But, maybe, just maybe, we can, like, do some chip damage, you know? Just, like, slowly chip away at him. And we're dead. Oh no! Okay. Okay, okay. Come on, we can. This isn't gonna be enough to take. But if we can get like one more Pokemon after Weasel dies to uh do like at least one hit, maybe. Maybe. We can, okay. What we're we gonna do? Strong style move. Doesn't need to do a lot. Okay, Shinx is dead, never mind. Doesn't need to do a lot, it just needs to do enough to get him. Okay. Let's see. 40, 40, 60, 75. Okay, okay. Good, okay. Okay. Do I have to battle this thing multiple times? Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. Say goodbye. I can't fight this thing. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. If I reach into my bag, can I still be attacked? Okay. Okay, um, I need a revive, don't I? I don't have a revive, do I? Can I calm the deer? Okay. This is bad. What are you holding? You're holding an item? Is that where you're going? Oh, I can evolve you, huh? You're not a good evolution, does me when you're like dead. Maybe you should tell me that before. I'm, I'm sure it did. I just wasn't paying attention. Okay. So I think the game plan here is to just die. Okay, kill me. I'll be back, don't worry. Don't take me down for long. Okay, let's run now, Pokemon. Um, and just like, I'm sure once they all die, we're gonna be back now. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna have to do some grinding, guys. Hey, potato? You know what? Let's drop it here. We're only gonna get this one move out, so let's make it the strongest we can. And now you're dead. Oh. Oh no. Okay. Now you're dead. Okay. Oh well. What can you do? 
I took down. I'm sorry, Helena. Look, if I knew you would have the potential of death, I probably wouldn't have named a Pokemon after you. Well, that's just kind of nothing I can do here. Okay. Well. Kill me, I suppose. Game over. I think this is the first time in a very, very, very long time when, like, I am admitting defeat. Where, um, I've blacked out in a Pokemon game. Okay, let me. How's my Pokemon looking? Can I. We need higher levels. We're just gonna battle everything we can see. Because I think I have an XP share. So, um. Oh, that's crazy. So, um. As long as my Pokemon doesn't die in battle. Be fine. A lot of side up today. Where's the Veneery? Where's the crouch? Not crouch. I <laughs> said so, no, I've forgotten everything. Okay, crouched. Okay. Don't know why I'm suddenly whispering. It's not like the bunny can hear me. Okay, so what I've learned is that you battle it. And nothing happens, so you just gotta... Just gotta go. Well, that's the turn. Like cowards we are. Oh, that's right, that's angry. Hey, we caught up an earring. Okay, uncrouch, in a run. Oh! Okay. We caught the veneery, guys. Um, there's something in the tree, so we'll, uh, kill or catch that. It's just gonna Um, I guess we'll just kill it. It's higher level now, so, um, I think knocking out would get us a decent chunk of XP. Plus, fire type, I believe, is super effective against Combi. Plus, it has burn, so. I don't know. I like how it's not very effective and yet takes out like a third of our HP. We are severely under level and I have no clue how that ended up happening. It's because I'm not like, babbling or catching things, I'm just kind of running around, having a time. Having a fun time. Oh. Sorry, I got distracted by the phone. Beautify! Okay. Good angry. Oh, no, but that is! Okay, okay. Um, solution. Battle! That Psyduck's gonna battle us too, isn't he? Solution. Burn it to death. So I have a status effect, maybe that'll help us even more. I wanna fire it again, I'm afraid I'm gonna knock it out. Oh. Okay, good. That's good. Okay. And look, we're getting so much more XP. Okay, should I evolve my Pokemon that can evolve? I mean, let's do it, because I think Evolve does give them stat bonuses. I'll be honest, guys, I don't know about a Pokemon. Also, I think there's shapes that are pretty cool in my butt. Hey, Jada! He has that little grumpy face with a little upside down V mouth I love so much. I love him. And I love all Paloma, too. Feels weird though. Like I'm so used to like kind of fading in and out the light. Oh Jesus! I forgot about him. Um. 
you know, it kind of feels weird to um, have like an actual animation now. Pull. Okay. Um, I do need to fight something serving around her. Can't help it. These games just kind of make me want to run around and do a whole load of nothing. So, so nothing but, uh, you know, picking things up off the ground. Okay, what would be the easiest thing to grind on? I suppose since we have a fire type Pokemon in our lead. Like bugs. Wormple. We can just keep fighting Wormples. Assuming the Wormples aren't gonna run for us. You know, like the Panerias do. Oh, that's level 3. That's not gonna get us level 16 power. Like, the big bad thing, the Cleaver, the Super Saiyan God Pokemon, like, he was level, what, 16? So we need to, we need to do, like, quite a bit of grinding, huh? Grinding on beautifies until I feel uh, confident enough to try to take down Cleaver, which, you know, probably never. I'll probably never feel confident enough. But, um. I feel like I'm gonna see beautifies mainly. Oh, it's probably the Iron Defense thing I did, huh? My stream up or down, I don't know. I, I literally stopped that in a notification like, hey, your stream got disconnected. Um Am I still live? Hello? You still live? I have no clue if we're still five, huh? Um I'll, I'll, I'm sorry, I have to wait for uh, my little preview of the stream to catch up with uh, real time. Okay, I think. I think we're still good. And if not, <laughs> um, uh, don't know what to do about that. Oh well. You know what? Sometimes you just gotta take it as it comes. Today is apparently just not a good day for me to be streaming, I guess. The whole world's against me a little bit. Just a little bit, though. Thank you. Okay. Oh, that's a sight. Can it attack me through a tree? What's going around the tree? Goodbye! I'm not about that. I don't want to get my butt kicked. Can you heal my Pokemon? Let's go back to the base camp. Okay, shut up, you little cowboy. Yes, I am going to back out. I need to make sure my Pokemon aren't going to get the, the word I'm not allowed to say be out of them. You know, because, like, I know you two both have Pokemon. And yet you're just standing there, not doing anything. You're not helping me at all. I didn't even see y'all throw food at it. You're just like, well, not our problem. You little jerks. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm hoping... We are high enough level to, uh, fight. We will heal up. Everything's gonna be a-okay. 
Hi, mushroom. Bye, mushroom. Um, I don't know where the base camp is. Uh, okay, solution. Okay, we'll heal up here. If I can find a heavy here, heal. Um, do you heal me? Hi. Okay. Do you heal me? Sure. Um. I would just like to be healed right now, please. Okay. Heal my Pokemon. Does this heal me? Okay, that heals me. Okay. Now let's go. Am I going in the wrong direction again? Yes. It's going to happen a lot, probably. Okay, but I think hopefully <laughs> we can take down Cleaver now. Oh no, I do take full damage. Oh no. It's gonna stop me from jumping off clips though. You know what? It's just faster to jump off cliffs. Um. Okay, here's the bee barrels again. There's a really angry one, but I'm just gonna run right past, hopefully. Don't mind me, just a deer. Goodbye. And, okay. I think. I think we can do it, because I really hope I just don't have to grind for, like, the next hour to beat this. I think. I think. Plan. Okay. Game plan is... We're gonna battle Cleaver. And then win or lose. That's gonna be the end of the stream. And if I lost, we are going to grind in between streams. Just so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me battle Beautify for the next hour. So... Let's hope you win, because I would like to not have to grind in between streams, because, you know, I'm, I'm kind of busy sometimes. Oh, do I gotta be off the deer? Okay. Yeah, okay, let me... let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready to get absolutely defeated again. Let's go. We've already gone through this cutscene. I don't have any revives, so, um, hopefully this goes better than last time. Let's hope. Okay, so I think, I think we might need to rearrange the order of our Pokemon, because, um, Weasel, that's the name, did really well, if I remember correctly. So if we can throw Weasel out first, that might, uh, just do something I should have been focusing on the ring of Weasel, not a Cyndaquil. Okay. What I'm going to do... Oh, okay. Evolve? We're gonna evolve Ruby. We can't evolve Ruby right now. Okay. We're going to... Oh, no. Wrong button. Okay, that's right, so I don't have to switch them out in the order. Sorry, um... Okay, no, nope, we're running. We are running. Come get me, loser. I'm gonna get absolutely wrecked, I know. 
Okay. Fight. I would like to be able to see the fight. Uh, okay. I'm gonna move first. And we are going to, um... Probably should have done this for a while, just so I can get more attacks off me. Okay, and we're gonna die. Of course, um... We can do this! Okay, who else has a move that's effective? Potato. I am counting on you. You gotta do this for us. We're gonna do this with style. We're gonna hope that we can get more moves out than he can. Nope. Okay. He's level 18. Man, okay, okay. What do I have? <laughs> Do I have? Ruby knows roll out. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. Okay. We can do this. Okay. We're not gonna. He's gonna kill me. Okay, we just have to do one more little itty bitty tiny little bit of damage so i can get dealy really do something please okay 30 versus we're going 60 because i don't want to throw out the 30 power move and just completely you know get wrecked Do I have to throw any Pokemon? Can I just keep doing this? Please? Okay. I'm very bad at aiming. Okay, come get me. I'm right next to the wall. Come get me. Oh, not like that. Don't get me like that. Oh no! Hit the wall, you dummy! I'm getting them right here, against the wall. Hit it, okay. And I'm out of here. Okay, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Hello? Come get me? Come get me? Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi. Am I in the fall? Okay. <laughs> so far, we're not doing great, you guys. Okay. There's gonna be another bit of rock back. I'm up against the wall. I'm right here. Stop doing the rock attack! Stop doing that! Stop doing the rock attack! I hate you. I hate you so much. Come get me. I'm right here in front of you. Stop doing the rock attack! What am I supposed to do? Dead. Can we continue? Please? Okay, I know how to battle Cleaver. I know how to do this. I'm just bad at it. Please? I'd like to keep my previous progress, please. Does this heal my Pokemon? Because I'm going to be so mad if it heals my Pokemon. Um, the 
potato. Oh no, not potato. the fact I am bad at all this game. I'm not a real pro gamer. I'm just a kid gamer girl. Why did I jump closer to him? Okay, potato, potato, go potato. Go potato, go! If I can hit the right button, go potato! Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Just gotta believe. Okay, what we're going to do is we're only gonna get one hit, so you might as well make it the strongest we can. Let's sell that. That's not good. Okay, we're dead. Thank you for the out here. We're only gonna get one hit. So you have to make a count. Please don't kill him, please. Thank you. Okay, please do another hit. I should have done some style. Oh no. Okay, okay, it's enough. It's enough. Okay. It's enough. And now we're gonna run. Oh, why did I hit that button? <laughs> okay, okay. I think if I can get him to knock himself out on the wall again. Without hitting me. Please, thank you. Thank you. Okay. We can continue that, right? Please? I know how to fight him. I know how to fight him. I am just extremely bad at every single thing I've ever tried. Can I keep my progress, please? Uh, I was so close. I'm busy. I'm using another move, you jerk. I'm right here, up against the wall. Come get me. Okay. You want freeze off? Okay, I don't even throw him right back into that way. We're dead. Okay, we have one chance. One opportunity. Uh, something something mom's spaghetti. Oh no. I just wanna play Pokemon. This is not Pokemon. Okay, potato. Potato. Please. Please. We only get one hit per Pokemon. That's what I'm wearing. So we just might as well go as strong as possible and pray that somehow we can get a second hit. Nope, okay. Okay. Next sacrifice, please. to mash this button as hard as I can possibly do. Am I alive? Did I win? Is this it? Okay! Okay, we killed God.
Well, wonderful time here, but I never want to battle one of those ever again. Got the insect plate. Thanks, Cleaver. I absolutely hate your guts. Yeah, go Naruto run out of here. I never want to see you again, ever. I never want to... Look, okay, Pro Clan? Never want to see that thing ever again. Don't- what happened? Where was my backup? You have a Gumi. You have a Glaceon. Like, we could have done three against one, right? But no. We'll just have Arizona do everything. <sighs> Sick of this entire region. Some kind of light erupted from Cleaver's body. Yeah, really? Has Lord Cleaver frenzy has Lord Cleaver's frenzied mind truly been put at ease now? Does this confirm that the strange lightning was to blame was to blame for Cleaver's unnatural power? I mean probably. Why are you asking me? What do I know? I literally just got here. Well, this is what I think after all we've seen. We know strange lightning came out of the space time rift the other night. Those bolts must have struck Cleaver and driven him to a frenzy after all. The lightning came from the space-time rift. But if Almighty Sinnoh really does dwell beyond the space-time rift, then the strange lightning, is it, it indeed was Almighty Sinnoh's power? Were we even right to try to interfere? I happily went along with this plan to create some bombs, as if I knew what I was doing, like some kind of thoughtless fool. Outrageous! Calm yourself, Leanne. Remember that the Lord of the Woods has long been our protector, keeping Pro Clan safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. Would power sent by the true Almighty Sinnoh have driven Cleaver to turn and turn us and attack people and Pokemon indiscriminately? I doubt it. What Arizona accomplished just now, it needed to be done. I'm glad we could settle this without further strife with the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team. If you come across the other Pokemon in grip of this painful frenzy, please help them. Hmm, yes, fine. I suppose that I suppose I must concur. I apologize for becoming briefly in incomposed. I am grateful for what you've done for my lord. Please take these on behalf of the Pearl Clan. Concern my apology for having spoken rudely to you earlier, and token my thanks. What about your apology for not helping me? For leaving me alone? <laughs> Three berries! Three. Three! <laughs> Let me care for your Pokemon as well, in appreciation for fighting on our behalf. I hate you all. I hate this entire region. <sighs> Pokemon. I just want to play Pokemon. Okay. I think I've finally come to believe that you truly did fall out of the sky. Though I still cannot imagine the regions that play. Maybe I am Almighty Sinnoh. Maybe I am your god. And it seems we've settled things here, though between you and me, I don't mind seeing Lord Cleaver in such a frenzy again. He was fearfully strong, after all. You shut up. Okay. So. We did it. We beat Cleaver. And I never want to fight one of those ever again. If I can find the right buttons to save, I think this is where we're going to be ending it for tonight. Before you know, my stream cuts out once again. Um... So, thank you everybody for tuning in, and I am going to continue to suffer next time we play this game, because <laughs> I'm bad at all games, but we will, we will beat this. I'm not just going to give up because I'm bad at it. We'll beat this, and um, it's going to take a million streams, I promise you. But we will do it. And maybe sometime in this game we will actually have some fun. Um, so that's going to be all for tonight then. Uh, 